Hi, so I'm here with HMLPD, or one member anyway. One member. Very exciting. So this has been a big tour for you, I'd say. I think it's been pretty great for you to uh, come out here, and especially playing such a great venue in Hedgehog House. Right. Really nice and neat. Um, what's it been like so far? Yeah, terrific. Um, we've only played three shows before this evening. Yeah. So, uh, they've all been good. So, yeah. They've all been very good. And you've just released Loaded as well, mm -hmm. so what's the reception been like for that? Has it been very warm, very, very welcome? Warm. Yeah, very warm. Yeah. Um, it was a fun thing to make. Uh, it was a collaboration between us and our friend Mood. Yeah. Um, Mood Killer, who we met in the US. Um, and yeah, it was a really fun process. Yeah. Welcome with open arms. Do you think that's to do with your fan base? Do you have a very dedicated fan base? We do, say? we do have a very dedicated It was like a cult base. following in the best way. Yes. Yeah, 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 no. It's nice. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we, at this stage, we don't have many fans, but the ones that we do have are bloody great. <laughs> bloody great. I think you're quite reputable at the moment, though. Quite I reputable. Think, I think your name is out there. Right. I think so a lot of people are very aware. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe. Oops, yeah. yeah. I guess we'll see tonight. Fun. Apparently, the tickets have sold extremely well. But that doesn't surprise yeah, me. Yeah, so there you go. I mean, we like playing Beats. Beats is a, it's a sick city. It's and, really uh, diverse. It's very diverse and we always get good people there. So. Yeah. You said you've played here before, Belgrave. Mm. Have you ever played here before, Hedra House? No. First time. And what was Belgrave like? Similar kind of vibe from what you've gathered so far? Uh, I don't <laughs> know. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not very good at gathering vibes. Um, yeah. We'll, <laughs> so, we'll have to suss it so, out so, afterwards. Yeah, we'll yeah, come yeah. back later. Yeah. Uh, you just signed a uh, lucky number as well. Uh huh. Which is yeah. a kind of a very big thing. So I think with the sound you kind of put out there, it's very, it's almost like a melting pot of a lot of different things, I'd say. Um, and a lot of bands that kind of do what you do or do a very similar kind of thing um, don't tend to sign to labels, um, mm. especially not because you haven't released an album yet. What was the decision making behind that? Was that something that you kind of thought about and it was a decision that you made um, uh, kind of sporadically or was it a little bit different to that? Well, after we parted ways with Sony. Yeah. Um, the major thing for us was to have a label which respected our uh, creative integrity and let us do what we want artistically yeah. um, without taking too much, um, without taking our license from us in that way. Um, I think Sony definitely tried to impinge on that quite a lot. And so when we met Lucky Number, it was very clear to us that they were a label who would support us, um, but would ultimately let us do what we want with our music and with our image and whatever. Um, <laughs> and so that's kind of the, the reason for signing with them is that they are very supportive in that way of what we want to do creatively. Yeah, so they gave you a freedom there. Yeah. Do you think that yeah. with a lot of record labels that is a problem? Yeah, I Especially mean, with like bigger ones. Yeah, yeah, with major labels. Uh, don't sign to major labels, kids. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, we had a fun experience on being on a major, but it was, uh, but even, again, that's what Loaded is about, you know, so you kind of, you sell yourself out, you sell your soul to the devil, and uh, ultimately, uh, it's just not a good thing to do. Whether or not it's worthwhile in the long run. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So you've been dubbed by many a magazine and many a publication, uh, one of the most exciting bands in the UK. Wow, well, well, there we There's go. been quite a few that have said that about you. Uh, this is a bit of an unusual question because it's kind of giving you the reason to kind of uh, justify that in a way. So I, I kind of wanted to see what you thought made you so exciting. So obviously you read a lot of articles where people dub that, but are there any things for you that you feel that you put forward in your music that kind of justify that reputation? I think that... Um, it's for us with, as a band. It's partly about the music, but it's more about the overall thing. Um, Very it's about aesthetic, everything heavy as well. Yeah. For, yeah, partly the aesthetic, but partly the whole message. We're not the most technically accomplished musicians. None of us went to music school or anything, and we're not that good at playing our instruments. Um, but I think that what we do produce is music for outsiders. We're all outsiders. Um, we work at school, whatever, and I think that that hasn't been for a long time. Uh, artists really.
represents the, the outsiders. And I think that's kind of what we've always intended to do. Um, how successfully is yet to be seen. Um, you are apparently very successfully, I would agree. I think you've done a very, very great job. Too kind. <laughs> I don't think um, we've seen something quite so, um, I'm going to use the word abrasive, but in a very positive way. Um, quite so abrasive and quite so full fronted um, since maybe around the 70s. I think you get a lot of your influence from that kind of 70s punk. Where it, Partly, wasn't, it wasn't necessarily yeah. based on you know, technical ability, it was very yeah. much based on the overall method. Yeah, I mean, I definitely in terms of the idea of technicality kind of being yeah. irrelevant, I think we're, we're more about character and about, um, about ideas than we are about um, ability. Um, so in that sense, I guess there's a link to punk. I mean, there's long influence from hip hop at the moment um, in terms of again in terms of that naivety a lot of the kind of like the way that SoundCloud rap comes out is just so naive and so fantastic and so amateurish and so something quite just, endearing about it I wouldn't say endearing I was wondering, not yeah I don't want to patronise but yeah. it's kind of like it's it's so uh, removed from industry pressure and from, uh, from, yeah, all those kinds of pressures. Um, yeah. yeah, no, I understand that. That's very insightful, I would say. And I always kind of see it as this very enduring way, not everything has to be so <coughs> philosophical that you can dismantle all the yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel exactly. like people have that habit of doing that a lot. They do, they do. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, your demand for an album from your fans and just people who've heard you in general, yes. it, it's intense. It's very it's intense. intense. What can we kind of gather I mean, from that? When we get, there'll be an album. Do we have a date? Do we have anything? We have a we have a mixed and mastered album. Oh. With album art in vinyl production, right now. Um, I can't reveal the date yet, but there is actually. It's very exciting. Finally, <laughs> so long waiting. It's been a long, 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 long time. The road out of hell is long and strewn <laughs> with bodies. Yeah. But it'll be worth it. It'll yeah. be worth it. Yeah, yeah. I think when you've waited quite a while to produce a debut album instead of kind of just doing that immediately, I yeah. think it always ends I mean, up being the best. Yeah, weirdly, it's actually um, very much benefited the album that it's been such a long wait because I think that we've gone through so much during the process that the album is now one that's kind of born of struggle in a way that if we'd released it two years ago it wouldn't have been and um, it's i think for that artistically a far far better richer album than it could ever have been had we released it at a more expedient time no definitely i think, that, I think that's the case for a lot of fans and maybe that's why a lot yeah. of fans are tending to drop singles before they yeah. do like debut EPs. Perhaps. i think queen d uh queen z did something very similar right uh, where they wait for a long time and their debut album was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very, very excited for that. Thank you very much for sitting down and having a talk with me. You're welcome. Thank you. I hope it'll be a really great show. If you've never played Hedgerow House, good sounding place, great sounding place. There we go. And plenty of different stuff, so it'll be nice and packed for you. Lovely. Anyway, this has been HML TV. Thank you very much for sitting down with me.